Hey viewers, welcome back to some more Let's Play Alpha Protocol. So when we last left off, we were chilling in Russia. And I'd unlocked a few more information on some dossier dossiers. Now I realized that last time I said I was gonna go to Taipei, but I don't want to lose this thing about Albatross. Little is known of codename Albatross, former CIA agent who faked his death and surgically altered his face and fingerprints. How a low-ranking, nonviolent analyst would turn up leading a cell of the covert G22 organization not even, is even more difficult to understand. Whether or not he shares his identity with the former CIA analyst, or was responsible for the murders of the other individuals within his division, he should be approached with caution and taken in by any means necessary. Cell leaders in G-22 are required to be accompanied by bodyguard at all time and travel alone is a violation of G-22 protocol. So, nothing else in there for him, but I got more information on CIS as well. I decided to go ahead and buy those. Late teens to early 20s. Most of the existing information on codename CIS comes from Interpol records, once they were isolated when a computer virus attacked their servers in 2006 and erased almost three years of evidence compiled on G-22. Sis relies on two revolvers as her favorite weapons, but she uses a marksman with both. She frequently needs to reload in order to keep using the weapons. So basically wait for the reload, which I tried to do. So, rather than go to Taipei, we're going to go have a pleasant chat with Mr. Albatross. If I can find the door. Ah, here we go. Okay, so I've got a dossier he wants to meet. Alright. Well, let's do it. I think it's going to be mostly professional, anyhow. Moscow Park, Moscow. Uh, I'm wearing civvies, so hopefully this is just a talking scenario. Oh, great. I don't want to shoot you, but pull that trigger, and I will. It's all right, sis. Hello, Mike. No trouble finding the place, I hope. You wanted to meet face to face. Why? I wanted to talk about you, and the organization I represent. You spared sis's life. For that, you have my thanks. I have something of hers. Here. Did she give that to you? I see. Oh crap. The locket is a childhood memento. Perhaps those days are gone. Regardless, thank you for sparing her life. The gratitude comes from both of us, it seems. According to what I've been able to dig up on you two, she's your bodyguard. If anyone should be saving someone's life, it's her. That is correct. Intel suggests she's an orphan. That you're not related. I see you've accessed Interpol records, Agent Thornton. I thought I'd wipe those clean. Well, I'm thorough. But if she's your bodyguard, why did you send her the Lazo's yacht? Isn't she supposed to be protecting you? She could have been killed, you know. That's no way to treat someone you care about. And no way to treat a child. Sis would not be here today if not for me, Agent Thornton. The world is cruel in many respects. And every day we survive, we have gambled against death and won. And the locket she gave you. Perhaps Sis is not a child anymore to throw away a childhood memento so carelessly. That locket? It's not a childhood memento. Excuse me? The locket. It depicts St. George and the dragon. According to the legend, townsfolk fed their children to the dragon out of fear to prevent its wrath. Eventually, the king agreed to feed his own daughter to the beast. I'm not sure I like the implication, Agent Thornton. Oh, man. I wasn't aware there was one. I'm guessing only she knows how St. George factors in. But I'm wondering who G-22 is in the story and who you are. I'm sure Sis could clear it up. If she wanted to tell us, that is. She can't. Can't or won't. She's a mute. Let's walk. Sis will make sure we're not interrupted. All right. So, what did you want to talk about? I know to all outward appearances you're a rogue agent. I also know about Alpha Protocol. And in your case, it's being used for its intended purpose. 
wasn't my choice, really. One of my associates made the decision for me. I disagree. You had other options, I'm sure. Did enacting Alpha Protocol change your mission? No. Then you should be proud of your accomplishment. What accomplishment? It's not often that one gets to turn the tools of their own government against them, and for the right reasons. And Alpha Protocol? It is a powerful tool. Between Halbeck and you, I'm beginning to feel like everyone knows about Alpha Protocol. It may seem that way. I'd argue you're simply traveling in a smaller circle here, on the fringe of international politics. I don't know what you want, Albatross. G-22's agenda? Doesn't seem like you have one. No. We have aspirations, as does any government. But we believe that agendas are accomplished by careful study and observation. If the status quo is disrupted, it makes predicting triggers and events more... difficult. You sound like one of the analysts of Alpha Protocol I know. Alpha Protocol has always had someone in that role. It helps them function as intended, no matter what iteration of the program. It's an odd thing. A government-sponsored program whose purpose is to prevent being policed by its own government. Now what kind of foundation is that for a country? I guess you have to trust your country and act in its best interests. Do you trust your country? I do. I believe in the mission. I propose we become allies. What, I become a member of G-22? No. I propose we cooperate. You will find that as extensive as Alpha Protocol's leftover safe houses and gadgets are, well, G-22 has access to much more. And the price? Let us say, I owe you. You've already paid me, in the only currency I value. What do you say? All right. I need all the friends I can get. And for some reason, I trust you. You won't regret it, Mike. We're out of time, I'm afraid. Thank you for listening to me, Mike. I know you have a great deal of work ahead of you. Albatross, I need to know something. Yes. What? This business with Halbeck. I can still prevent it, right? There's a way to stop them. This isn't going to end well, is it? Mike. It never does. Well, I got on Sis's good side, but... Okay, so we need to meet him and his bodyguard. And I got an alliance because I spared Sis's life. But Albatross does not like me. Although, I've now got G22's backing, which probably counts for a lot. I'm hoping they can get me information. Except I can't really afford anything. I have no money. Uh, as long as we're working together, I should ac share access to our black market channels. You'll have access to the G22 network. Surplus gear we have, you can buy it. Okay, let's see what they've got for me here. New pistols, it looks like. The Hamilton Contender. Whoa, whoa, wow, you guys have some awesome looking guns. Yikes. Okay, so lots of new stuff. So mostly makes sense. Handguns. Yeah, it's mostly it there. Anything new in armor? Ooh, advanced stealth armor. Ooh, that's expensive. Plus two sound dampening. Plus 40 endurance. Well... Actually, hang on a second. You know what? Excuse my brains here. I don't use any of these. So if I sell... Oh, wow. They're worth nothing. But if I'm not going to use any of these things...
gold. What? Whoa! Gold plated assault rifle. Forty thousand dollars. You know what? I'd rather sell that for the money I so desperately need. Bling. Yes. Awesome. Okay, I will sell that because I'm not using it. APDS rounds. Armor piercing, right. And weren't there some subsonic rounds available I had too? I guess that's it. Body armor. Carbide matrix. What? Oh yeah, I found that. That's some serious money. Okay, printed circuitry and for time delay before being spotted by cameras. Good endurance and noisy. You know what? I'm never going to use that because I'm playing it stealth, so I'm going to sell that armor as well. Can I sell intel? No. I'm not going to use those explosive grenades. We'll sell those guys. Do I have my own old pistol to sell as well? I think so, because... I've got the sidewinder, so I can sell my old pistol as well. Sell my old silencer. Steel core rounds. Well, they're for murdering people, so I'm not interested in that. Suddenly, this is looking a lot better. At least intel-wise. There's a lot of stuff at the embassy. And that weapon stuff is really expensive. It's all dossier info. Snipe rifle dead drop. But you know what? Let's let's just do this. Let's forget Taipei. We'll sell it some serious cash there. Can I buy tranquilizer rounds now? I mean, come on, G22's got to have tranquilizer rounds, right? Right? Plus one damage, plus one accuracy, minus four ammo capacity. Yeah, that seems better. Basic pistol muzzle assist. Okay. Streamlined pistol frame. Superior rifling is just straight. Oh, it's better than. No, it takes to the silencer, though. Ultra. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that's expensive. Let's hold out on that stuff. Tranquilize rounds. Buy. Well, that was worth it. But, we have to intercept some military shipments. Some more dossier info. Oh, that reminds me. Let's take a look at Sis's dossier, shall we? Oh, that A looks like an important mission. Let's definitely not do that yet. Faction. Of protocol is just 28. All Samad's complete. Russian Mafia. Braco's Outsiders. I remember that name. Most prominent and possibly most powerful gang working within Moscow was the Outsiders, and they support tracksuits and carry submachine guns or shotguns. They rely on numbers to flood opponents with bullets and bodies until they've won. G22. Huge network. Cover their tracks. Halbeck. VCI. They are with little exception to former enlisted soldiers. The U.S. Army, Motsi, and Dush Heir are the main contributors of VCI manpower. The first soldiers with the dishonorable discharges, borderline types that won't find employment in nonviolent occupations. Well, that's great. Albatross is still there. Now Sis's dossier I think I finished out pretty well. Sis, 75%, okay. Footage of Sis's fighting style has been captured by Interpol after an unsuccessful attempt to apprehend her. They weren't close enough to land a strike. Her small size and agility allowed her to gain an incredible advantage in taking cover, using the station pillars, trains, and passengers at the station. Secret fact. Sis formerly carried a locket with a depiction of St. George upon it. The significance of the locket is something of a mystery as to whether it's a memento or whether it's something of a special significance to Sis. She likes me. Westridge likes me. Scarlet likes me. Nazareth neutral. I did finish that. I mean, it does. Marburg's neutral, Madison St. James. I don't know, I haven't met her yet. 
Leland, Grigori, Darcy. Oh, reputation one, so positive one. That's good. I like how almost everyone likes me, including my former Alpha Protocol buddies. Well, don't really have a lot to change right now, so let's go investigate some weapon shipments. Intel acquired four. Okay. Halbrex prototype missiles are being moved through Lenin. Oh, they're they haven't left yet. Okay. Dimitri Dragons is well connected to the Russian Rob. Left some valuables, a sniper rifle, and a dossier. Let's do this. <laughs> Leningradsky Station, Moscow. Sorry, anyone that's. Whoa. Sounds busy. Very busy. You two, get ready to push up. You two, get ready to push up this wall. Ready? Ready? Damn it! You open fire! Shoot! Shoot! Holy crap! There must be a small army out there. Uh uh uh. Come out, or I'll shoot through those boxes you're crouching behind. Wouldn't want that. Hmm. What the? You must be that American agent I've heard so much about. A little bird told you that? Grigori is no bird, darling. You should be careful who you speak to. Here to catch a train? I'm here looking for the Halbeck missiles that were smuggled through Moscow. Oh, <laughs> very one. truthful of you. Bad practice in our business. Probably aggressive, then. But we should talk. I do not want to shoot you, as I only have so many bullets. Could have fooled me. I propose a deal. I am here for the same reason you are, to find this Halbeck train. We work together, we both get aggressive. what we want. Stay out of my way, and we'll get along fine. Yeah. <laughs> I accept your terms. Do not harm my men, and they will not fire on you. Is it a deal? Hmm. Well, considering you have the drop on me, then it sounds like a deal. For now. That is good. Because I think we have company. Let's see if let's... Shadow operative. Hang on a second. Shadow operative. Whoa. Who are the guys in the track suits? No idea. They may be guarding the shipment. Nice, two grand. Okay, well I guess now psychopath is done. Yay. Well, I can always sell those, I guess. Full of bitch. Looks like I've. Okay. Walked into the middle of a turf war. I hope you're not planning on getting involved. May not have much choice. Just remember why you're here, Mike. It's all good. I shouldn't have sold my combat armor in hindsight. Russian, you sound very not Russian. Okay, so 
Yeah, stealth, no. Forgot I actually had to aim to activate my chain shot here. Well, hang on, I can crack that. Alright. Open says me. Nice. Okay, so busy, busy. One, two, three, four. Lower capacity shotgun magazine. That doesn't sound very useful, actually. What the heck's my sniper rifle I was looking for? Wow, really? Pick up. Okay. So there's lots of stuff to grab in here, clearly. I'm gonna have to be really thorough, viewers. Uh, is there a ladder here? Which way am I going? Okay, so I need to get out of here. Stylish clothing! Now where the heck am I? So I'm way out here. Okay. So there... I'm not, oh, I am done with pickups out here. Okay. Well, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, viewers. Sorry. Literally, I'm just bad at this. Start selling some of this ammunition that I never ever use. Okay. Surprise! Okay. guys are definitely helping out, and I'm glad I sided with... Actually, let's check out her intel. She? Okay. Not much is known of the operative... She other than her status is an ex-Stasi agent of long-listed conflicts when she's been spotted, usually partaking in the action. Yeah, uh, nice cigarette. She is kind of scary. And I guess aggressive is the way to go if she's being violent all the time. I hope. Damn, wish I could make up my freaking mind where I wanted to go here. Well, right, let's go this way first. Right into loading. Watch out, Mike. I'm picking up movement on that water tower. Great. Sniper's on the tower. A. I'm in, and I've discovered where the weapons are going. Upload the data. I'll pass it along to the authorities. Whoa. Stuff. And I've, there's more stuff behind me, too. Get this 
on top of the towers. So he's looking right at that door, so I can't exactly go in there. That's where he came in the first place. Oh, he does turn around. Okay. I heard something. here but us Michael Thornton's. Oh, hang on. Shadow Operative. Ow. Bam! That's pretty sweet. Well, I guess I've got, uh, whatever it is, evasion to fall back on if I need it. Nice if I didn't, though. That's a bit of a shot from here for a pistol for Mike. They are definitely in my way, though. Okay. Come on, just turn around already. up there. I'm just going to climb up there and shoot them, but that doesn't seem to be an option, unfortunately. Far away. I guess we'll see if he finds his buddy. that do? Apparently it calls the police. Um, pistol, pistol accuracy plus one. You have a passion for precision perforation. 50 critical hits with the pistol. Nice. Okay, well that makes things a little quieter.